we at intap are a team of experienced teachers well trained in competency based education based on standardized learning outcomes each topic in our k12 hybrid learning solutions is mapped to ncert curriculum and cbsc syllabus first of all teachers get standardized experiential lesson plans with options to customize them in our experiential learning modules stage 1 begins with concrete experience related to the concept from real life using cutting edge technology i love early morning jogs as it is good for our health especially our lungs and heart let me show you something interesting here you go look at his heart it's beating so fast and we know that because he's jogging now when i look at the top most point of india gate the imaginary line from my eyes to the point of observation is called the line of sight so the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point in the object viewed by the observer now you can see that an angle is formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight stage 2 from a concrete experience the learner is led to reflective the thinking calling. he keeps a check on all the people entering and exiting the colony he makes sure that only selective permissible members from outside are allowed in the colony the plasma membrane or the cell membrane of the cell does the same job it provides an outer covering to each cell and separates and protects the cell contents from their outside environment the surface is very smooth that means friction is very less over here so if i kick this ball the ball would experience quite less friction and that is why it stopped at a farther distance it traveled larger distance in comparison to the previous case right in space we do not have any surface nor do we have any air that means we won't be experiencing any ground friction or any air friction so if i kick the ball in this scenario do you think the ball will stop let's find out hey the ball doesn't seem to slow down it appears as if it will keep moving continuously stage 3 is the phase of abstract conceptualization wherein the teacher explains concepts and ideas with utmost clarity for the process of reproduction plant needs to attract various agents like bees butterflies etc and usually the vibrant colors and fragrance of flowers help them attract insects for the same purpose the job of our heart is to pump blood into the body that delivers oxygen to the cells and this oxygen is used by the cells to produce energy for various metabolic activities the light coming out of the sun suffers refraction through the atmosphere before reaching our eyes let us mark the horizon first it's the tangent drawn to our earth's surface at the point of view now consider the position of the sun it's below the horizon so light rays from the top of the sun ideally should not reach our eyes can you quickly identify which one among the following is a convex polyhedron well we can see all the faces of the polyhedron given in figure a are convex polygons so it is a convex polyhedron stage 4 is a time of active experimentation 
to promote scientific temper and skills okay the bulb glowing in the room and the bulb in front of me are not that different the room bulb is also connected to the circuit and is powered by a power station whereas the bulb in front of me is also connected to the circuit our highlight is live demonstration of all lab experiments and activities to promote learning by doing as you can see transfer the deflagrating spoon into the gas tumbler always remember that spoon should not touch the water sound is getting more and more feeble as the air reduces inside the bell jar brisk effervescence is the rapid evolution of gas close the mouth of the main tube using your thumb and allow the gas liberated to pass through the lime water now apply a force on the second spring balance and note the reading on both the balances nep 2020 promotes discussions master the chapter is an engaging discussion of case based questions applying core concepts in a chapter by multiple master teachers with thick walls while the atria are smaller chambers with thin walls let us imagine a vertical line from the cloud to its reflection inside the lake okay and a horizontal line from your eyes parallel to the surface of the lake okay if you guess these two lines meet at a point and that point appears to be somewhere around 100 meters from here exactly also the angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight from my eyes to the cloud do you remember what we call that angle oh that is the angle of elevation quick revision with concept map helps chapter wise revision it helps score excellent grades the thick walls of the right ventricle and the thick walls of the left ventricle these terminologies include the first one as the horizontal level the second one is the line of sight the third one is the angle of elevation and the fourth one is angle of depression what is the horizontal level built in questions and intermodule exercises help regular practice they help long term retention short notes helps learners with important key terms detailed pointers and answer keys digital worksheets powered by artificial intelligence for self assessment helps to track progress of learners individually or as a class question bank with design your questions is a robust competency based assessment program for periodic and mock semester assessments teachers can even edit and customize the questions 